Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 59. Happy Thursday. One more day to the weekend. Yeah. Woo uh, so who knew the last time we just aired on Tuesday night, uh, what a fiasco uh, the world would be. In the United yeah, States. right, right, right. Um, we don't really t- want to talk about politics so much on here, you know, because there's a lot of places that people can do that, but... We just kind of wanted to acknowledge um, that yesterday was pretty stressful. Yeah, it was It was very stressful. And, you know, you can't, well, I can't speak for anyone else, but I just feel like you can't be too pleased with a situation where people, you know, are storming the federal capital because they're unhappy with the results of an election. And they're, you know, essentially... You have to assume the purpose of that was to try to intimidate elected representatives um, and prevent them from carrying out their constitutional duty. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that Congress was supposed to do yesterday, which eventually they did, is literally open up, you know, the the ballots cast by the Electoral College and and declare what the numbers were. They don't have anything to do with... um, you know, certifying the results of the Changing election. The numbers. They can't change the numbers, uh, despite people somehow seeming to think that the vice president could could um, you know overturn the electoral college or something. What whatever. I mean, again, this really isn't about politics. I mean, in the sense of Republican versus Democrat or liberal versus conservative or anything like that. It's just that, you know, in in my lifetime, I've never seen anything quite like this, and. Um, the point, I think, of having elections, you know, is to let the people decide who leaders should be and who members of Congress should be. Yep. And if you're going to engage in this kind of behavior, where you break down the gates and storm into the, the, the halls of and Congress. Damage property. Damage and... property um, and try to apparently intimidate our elected representatives to force them to make some sort of a decision. I mean, it's not even clear what goal they had in mind. But it was just, you know, it was completely uncalled for and wrong. And again, that's not about who won the election or or who you voted for or didn't vote for. It's that behavior, that sort of, you know, I don't know how else to describe it, Mm -hmm. but, you know, thuggish behavior of saying, we're going to come in and demand that you do what we want, even though nearly 150 million, actually a little more than 150 million people voted in this election. If that doesn't represent the will of the American people, I, I don't know what does. Right. You know, both candidates, both candidates receive more votes than any other candidate in the history of the republic. And, you know, one got more than the other. That's it. And I, I mean, I know, I know there's the Electoral College. Yeah, I've been a lawyer a long time. I don't need to be, have that <laughs> explained to me. <laughs> but, but my point is, you know, the results are what they are. Um, and, you know, I think one of the things that um, kind of guts me as a lawyer is that, you know, what this really sort of sort of um, underlines or, or, or points out is that so much of what we think of as our traditions, our constitution, our laws, and everything like that, you know, all these things really depend on the good faith of the people who are in positions of power and sort of just agreeing to go along with the rules. And when you think about it, it's really kind of a mm-hmm. fragile system because in this instance, it didn't work. You know, the, the, the people who protested and their, you know, their friends in Congress, let's be honest, some people in Congress were actually encouraging this kind of behavior. You know, it didn't work. The, the results of the Electoral College have been confirmed. We have a new uh, president-elect and all that. But imagine a scenario where one party or the other controls both uh, chambers in the Congress. And an event like this occurs, and they just say, well, we're not going to follow the rules. You know. Yeah, after it's been done that the way rest, yeah, forever. <laughs> the rest of us don't really have any... Power, so it, it really drives home the idea that you know when you vote for people, don't just think about whether or not you agree with their policies. Obviously, that's important. You know, mm-hmm. we all have our own opinions, and you should try to find candidates that reflect your opinions. But I think we also have to think about: Are those people going to exercise that good faith that we all assume they're going to? Are they going to, right. in the face of something that they don't like, 
you know, still follow the rules and, and, and follow the traditions and follow the Constitution. Because, you know, it's a fragile thing when you think about it. What would have happened if, if forget about whether it's Republicans or Democrats, what would happen if one party just said, you know what, we're going to reject the results of the Electoral College, and then the president said, okay, well, I'm still president. Then what? Yeah. You know, then what, right? Uh, so anyway, I don't, we don't want to uh, uh, beat a dead horse. Um, but we just wanted to acknowledge that uh, oh, yeah. it was just a crazy ass day yesterday. <laughs> it, was really, it was really something, and I've been following this for a very long time. And the first presidential election I can remember was in 1968. You know, I remember the Democrat. I, I was very young, but I remember the Democratic Convention was here in Chicago. I don't remember that from 1968. <laughs> and there was a lot of, you know, unrest. There were riots and all those sort of things. I, you know, so I've been following this a long time. I've never seen anything like what happened yesterday. And, um, you know, I do understand um, late in the day today, apparently the president um, did a uh, videotaped um speech, whatever, where he basically conceded to Joe Biden. All right. So, you know, I mean... <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> so there's that. There's that. Um, be curious to know who talked him into doing that, but, you know, put that aside yeah. for a moment. But anyway, so one other thing I would just say is that, I mean, it has been really stressful, I think, for everybody just watching it unfold. And um, hopefully people are... are um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, and not, and not just that. I mean, not just in terms of who wins and who loses, but I hope people are just, you know, um, being nice to themselves, being kind to themselves today and, and you know, for the next few days and just decompressing. Definitely. It was very strange. Because I think that was the, th the hardest thing. It's like, it's just like one more thing piled on top of everything else that everyone was piled on top with. So it's just mm -hmm. kind of like, do you know, you think like, okay, now we have a brand new year right. and then it's like right. chaos again. So um, people, I think, are just tired right. of the chaos and yeah. uncertainty and when is life going to get back to normal and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so we just wanted to mention that. Um, and then now we're going to move on uh, to uh, the topic that was uh, got a lot of um, comments and likes and direct messages uh, about our um, addition to our family. Uh, on Tuesday, we had mentioned that we reached out to our local animal care league um, in our town and because we had seen a couple cats that were on uh, their website. So we filled out the application, we emailed them, they emailed us back several times, they asked more questions and things like that. So uh, we're very excited. We don't know what we're, you know, what cats we're going to get yet. We had mentioned there was a mother, daughter, Queso, and Fundido. Um, but they also have, a, we said we would be open to any two cats that they didn't want to, like, separate. Um, which I think right. is kind of hard if somebody just wants, like, one cat, you know. I think it's harder to place two, don't you think? Right. Um, so, um, and then one of the questions they did ask is, do you, are you interested in an affectionate lap cat? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That would be amazing. <laughs> right. Yeah, because our, our cats, um, the, the ones that we've had in the past, really, I mean, sometimes they were, they, they were friendly. They were definitely friendly. Yes. Um, and we had one called Max who would occasionally jump up in your lap. Um, he would do it to me when I was working sometimes. He would just jump up in my lap and stare at the computer and so forth. Which is kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, but, but we've never had like cats that as soon as you sit down, they'll come jump on your yeah, lap. Yeah, it, um, it wasn't a regular thing. So that could be fun. Uh, so we're not, uh, we're going in with an open mind uh, of what they have um, to offer. Although um, they did tell us to bring a carrier. So that's a good sign. Yeah. Um, we're going on Saturday at 1.30 and we can actually go in person. Uh, with the mask and uh, look what they have on things. I'm right. so excited. <laughs> it's like all I can think about this week is like the highlight. I'm so glad we're doing this amidst all this that we have you're something like, to look forward to. You're like Will Ferrell and Elf <laughs> yeah. when you see Santa Claus. Yeah, definitely. Because um, I'm just kind of excited about just to see, you know, having cats again because they're like so fun and just having that kind of like distraction and... Um, I think it's also, they're very calming, so um, it is kind of like a, um, I've heard that if you pet animals, it like lowers your blood pressure, so um, it can make you healthier. <laughs> well, and it's funny, I was thinking about this earlier, and uh, you know, with the quarantine and all the silliness that's, that are, that's, we've gone through, is, you know, it, it, in times like this, all, all 
pets are emotional support animals, yes. <laughs> you, know, you know. For sure. Um, one of my, uh, well, actually a few of my colleagues have, uh, have gotten dogs and cats and things like that in recent months, and one of the, we have a meeting today um, online, of course, remotely, and one of uh, the people that I work with, they, his family had gotten a new Yorkie. Oh, and it's named, they named it Chewbacca because, of course, <laughs> it looks like a tiny little Wookiee. That's cute. Um, and so he had to pick up the dog and show everybody the dog. Show and tell. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Although another one of our coworkers, they had a, they got a puppy, probably now it's been about a year. And so um, she was showing off her dog, but that dog is a black lab. And so oh, she giant. picked him up and it was like this huge, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and at the time, he was only, you know, maybe six months old, but he was oh. already gigantic. Yeah, those things grow, yeah. grow so fast. <laughs> yeah, that was a good dog. That's or awesome. Still is, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so our plan is to, um, before we go to the Animal Care League, um, take a trip to our local pet store and get all the new um, stuff. So we're going to get a new bed or two, um, new litter yes. box, new carrier, um, and just maybe some toys. Some uh, toys. Yeah. Just to like get everything ready, so um, when we do, if we find ones that we like to bring home, because for a cat, everything is a toy. That's true. I mean, I mean you really... could have like a, the ring top to um, milk container. Um, yeah. Any anything pretty much can be a toy for a cat. That's true. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited just to see how they're gonna act, and um, obviously, if they're coming as a pair, they should be able to get along. So you don't have to worry about hopefully them. Uh, you know hissing at each other or whatever so i'm very excited and then whatever names the cats have when we get them um we're definitely changing them because <laughs> uh, we we're not we're, we're that's what we should do is we should um we should offer uh a, like a well not like a sponsorship <laughs> you know how they they name right. stadiums and so yeah. forth like and that sort of thing um like the White Sox, they keep finding a new corporate sponsor every few years. Nobody knows what the state is. I have is. no idea what it's called right now. Um, but we should give away the naming rights. Someone <laughs> could pay us, you know, a million dollars, and then we could name yeah, the Yeah, we'll name your cat whatever you want. <laughs> right. Because the cat doesn't care. But, Cats don't mm -hmm. really care what you call them. No. Uh, so that's one thing that we're going to definitely change the name. So we're going to do that. So we will definitely show them. We will keep you up to date. We're going to take lots of pictures so um, you'll know what's going on. We'll probably story that day um, just so you can see uh, how the day is unfolding. Uh, and then I was a little snarky um, when we were talking about our tattoos. Um, when I mentioned that I emailed the local tattoo place near our house and they hadn't replied yet. Um, and David <laughs> said, I said, don't give him a hard time. Don't it's give him a hard time. It's hot. And so sure enough, he emailed yesterday. So, uh, we're following up, um, uh, this, the process now is to call, make an appointment, have a consultation and then he'll It's like going to see out. a doctor. <laughs> you have to have a consultation. Yeah. Um. Do they make you sign? Are uh, you sure? <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Are you guys old enough to make this decision? <laughs> right. It's a, you got to give informed consent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So, um, but I have not changed my mind about what I, I want. totally haven't changed my mind either. And the funny thing is, um, I had, well, I like the choices that you have. So with whichever one you were going to go with, I was going to be no, fine I'm gonna with. I'm going to do the guitar. I know. But I mean, when oh. you had the original choices that you had. I was yeah, there were a few. That's true. I had, um, just looked up, which I haven't found that this isn't. So I'm just going to go with it and say it is, but I was like, Instead of having like um, a flower or a, a butterfly or a ladybug or whatever, I just wanted like a symbol of something. So um, I had Googled like a symbol for strength and I saw like um, a, a symbol. Um, but obviously you don't want it to be something that means something else. So that would be bad. I've Googled it. I've Googled imaged it and um, it doesn't say anything to the contrary. So I'm just going to go for it. And see hopefully <laughs> doesn't mean anything that I don't want it to. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. It's, it's really true. pretty though. So I mean even nice. if it you know, I think it's still um it's gonna be pretty and I um definitely want it in a collar so um that's pretty exciting. So I think that's probably what we'll go and obviously right. he'll say like is he capable of we've looked at his work online so I mean we know that obviously this person is talented and stuff. Right. So um 
I, but if you go with some weird thing that he doesn't know, I guess he wants to know that he can't do that. <laughs> right. Maybe I should bring the guitar and say, this is what this I is, want. Yeah, this is what I want. Life size. I want mm -hmm. a life size guitar tattoo. No. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. That would take a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not the only problem. <laughs> Um, so that's just another thing on our horizon. So we, we've got the cats, we've got that, and then shortly soon taking our daughter back to college. So all coming in like hot. So, uh, that's kind of just a lot, uh, to look forward to, uh, obviously not dropping our daughter back off at school cause I will miss her, but, um, it's definitely, uh, a lot going on in the next few weeks that we're really excited about. And then we have to start our new political podcast. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't have the I a I I definitely oh, could not be in politics because I am very fragile, and if anybody um came you know if it was a constant like people arguing with you or I just couldn't take that so I I would definitely not I would cry if I was in politics and, no right <laughs> and, and I mean the one thing about um Instagram in particular is for the most part it's sort of a it's a lovely place it's like a quiet oasis mm -hmm. you know away from all that sort of thing and and again you know I hope no one took our comments my comments the wrong way yeah it's not about chastising anybody mm -hmm. for their political views but just you know so much to think about right now uh, aside from left versus right just more about how everything works, you yeah. know, our constitution, our, our um, you know, representative democracy where we get to pick our, our leaders, even the president, you mm -hmm. know, and um, so don't take offense. Uh, yes. It's not, I, I'm not wagging my finger at anybody, but I was just, uh, I mean, I'll be honest, I was very alarmed with what happened yesterday. And, um, Plus, he didn't really know like what what extent it was gonna like right, one what right. it was gonna lead up to, you know, kind of thing. So luckily, yeah, I mean, I mean it, it was bad, but and, I mean it was. Just... And there were, you know, I mean, again, we don't want to belabor the point, but you know, there were people involved who had, um, you know, explosive devices mm -hmm. and Molotov cocktails and things like that. I mean, I think sometimes people imagine themselves to be tougher than they really are. So who knows whether, you know, anybody would have actually resorted to that sort yeah. of thing. But it's alarming just the fact that, you know, they did it. So whatever. Yeah. It was a very tense um, afternoon. And, um, you know, I, I certainly hope we never see anything like that again. Heck yeah. I know. It's too much. Too much. Um, so anyway, so we, um, that's our plan for Saturday. So our Saturday episode will be very exciting. So it's raining it back. back in. Let's get back on the <laughs> Let's talk about subject. cats. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I agree with you. Totally agree with you. Um, no, but uh, so we'll definitely keep you apprised on how that goes. And hopefully uh, in a few days we will have uh, new members to our family. To show off. To show off and tell you the names. <laughs> But if anybody wants to sponsor, just let us know. Yeah. <laughs> um, we so, will need certified funds. Yes. Uh, so we hope you have a good, good night, and we will talk to you on Saturday in just a couple days. So see you later, everybody. Bye. Bye.